House of Representatives stood down the motion requesting for the release of IPOP leader Mazin Namdekanu as Asari Dokubo cries out that he is not a militant. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, on Thursday stepped down an amended motion seeking to release Namdekanu, the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. Thus followed a recommendation by Jinga Onusibe, following a motion by Eze Mwachuku Eze, PDP Eboyi in Abuja Dream Plenary. Mr. Eze had moved the motion titled Need to Forestall Further Killings in Eboyi Local Government Area and the Rising Insecurity in Eboyi Ohaku Federal Constituency. Ebony State. But Mr. Omusibe, representing Isiala Ngwa North of Abia State, had asked the House to amend the motion to ensure the release of Mr. Kanu so as to end the disturbing cases of killings in the southeast part of the country. It will be recalled that Mr. Nnamdi Kanu had been in the custody of the State Security Services SSS in spite of a ruling by the court to release the IPOB leader. In his motion, Mr. Eze urged the President Bola Ahmed Tinibu's led administration to consult with political, traditional and religious leaders in Ebony State and the Southeast. This, according to him, is to find a lasting solution to the insecurity in the southeast. He also urged the acting inspector general of police to mobilize armored personnel carriers to strategic points across Ebony State to forestall further attack. He further urged the Nigerian police force and other relevant securities agencies to ensure effective policing of Eboin, Ahako Federal Constituency of Eboin State, and other states of the Southeast and the entire country. He urged the Nigerian police force to engage in training the Vigilante Group for Intelligent Gathering and Effective Community Policing. He asked the House, he asked that the House mandate the Committee on Police Affairs when constituted to make budgetary provisions for the Nigerian police force to acquire more combat helicopters. This, according to him, is to ensure proper surveillance of the Southeast states and Nigeria in general. However, an amendment to the motion to include the release of Namdekanu was rejected and deferred by the Speaker who, spe who said the subject matter should not come under the motion on boy killings. But Mr. Onusibe said the insecurity was a result of the prolonged detention of Mr. Namdikano, adding that the government should consider a way of releasing him so as to restore peace to the region. However, Ibrahim Halims, the deputy leader of the House, rejected the amendment, saying, Matters like that are always determined by the court and not the parliamentary decisions. In his contributions, Benjamin Carlo, the Deputy Speaker of the House of Reps, said the motion moved by Mr. Onsube was to find an amicable way of resolving the issue with regards to Mr. Namdikano. He added that what the prayer of the amendment should read was to urge Mr. President to use any other diplomatic or political approach to find a lasting solution to the issues. According to him, those of us from the region know where the shoe is pinching us. In his ruling, Mr. Abbas said, this is a, topic, a topical issue. My ruling on this is that I will defer rulings on this at this particular time and I will invite both the minority and majority leaders. 
this according to him is to consult and see what the point of the law says before he makes his own position known. So, while I rule on other motions and amendments that have been proposed, that particular one, that particular one is suspended for ruling next week after due consultation. Meanwhile, if you do anyhow, you go see anyhow, Asari Dokubo berates journalist Ruben Abati over articles about him in a video. Former militant leader Asari Dokubo has berated journalist Ruben Abati over an article about him. Ruben Abati had written an article about the former militant leader titled Asari Dokubo, Tinibu and Oil Theft. He had described Dokubo as a psychophant and an attention seeker who benefited largely from amnesty while claiming to be an activist. Abati wrote, What I find curious would be the kind of monstrous psychophancy and attention-seeking attics that have attended Asari Dokubo's recent assertions in the public space and the need for some of his claims to be closely interrogated. Sometime last week, Dokubo was quoted as saying that Nigerians should hold him responsible if Bola Tinibu, is, if Bola Tinibu fails. Asari Dokubo was referring to the removal of oil subsidy by the president, Bola Ahmed Tinibu. He has, however, just provided a strong reason why Nigerian history should be made a compulsory subject in our schools. Some of the so-called big men in our society who have the capacity to smuggle themselves into front-page news have no clue about contemporary history. Asari Dokubo wants to be held responsible if Tinibu fails. In his capacity as what, please, who has appointed him into the role of his, of the king's horseman? Has he ever heard of a man called Tokumbo Afikunyomi, who was even much finer in his expression of loyalty? Has he heard of all those people who said they should be stoned if Buhari disappointed them as president? When Nigerians started looking for people to stone, all the early day Buhari champions had gone quiet, or we are playing deaf and dumb. Reacting to this, Asari Dokubo described Ruben Abati as a rogue journalist who is feeding fat from government handouts. He also claimed that Abati should not be talking about him because he contested the Nogun governorship election as running mate to an alleged wanted drug lord. Dokubo, who threatened to deal with Abati, accused him of wanting President Bola Metinibu to fail because he is envious and jealous of the new president of Nigeria.